We met at my friend's going away party, and I had been living in Nashville, Tennessee, for probably two and a half years by then, and Sean had apparently only moved there three weeks before. I had just moved to Nashville. Um, I didn't really know anybody besides my roommate at this party, and uh, I noticed her pretty early on, I think. I don't know if she would say the same about me. We were talking about like violin and orchestra and music. We're both musicians. I played the violin growing up and he played the drums. And I don't know, we just really bonded over that. We started talking and realized we had a lot in common. And yeah, before the night was over, um, there was something special there. The next day, he asked me out on our first date and he told me he had two tickets to the symphony. And we just ended up having this magical night. Um, it was just random things kept happening that fell into place that made it the day perfect. My favorite piece from when I was in orchestra was Jupiter, the planets, and I talked to him about that that night on our first date, and he told me his parents owned it on vinyl, and I was just like, I didn't even know other people knew that this piece of music existed, you know? Another thing we found out pretty quickly that was special was that our dad had just moved to Austin, where I was from, uh, just within an hour of where my family lived, so that was, that was kind of a cool connection as well. And so I just knew. Um, a few days later that weekend, I called my mom, and I told her, I was like, Mom, I don't know what it is, I can't really explain it. Like, I don't even know this guy, but I'm telling you, I met my future husband. The day after we first met, uh, we both called our moms and said, we met the one. And I said, I want to be able to tell you in like three years from now, I told you so. I mean, it's six years, but I told you so. Today is a celebration. Today we celebrate love, commitment, friendship, family, and two incredible people who are promising forever. It is truly amazing for two people to find one another and in their devotion, respect, and love for each other, wish to dedicate themselves to each other's happiness and well-being as husband and wife. It was impossible. I, you look so beautiful. I can't wait. I love you so I'm so much. excited. I feel better now. Do you feel yeah. Better? yeah. I feel better. Yeah. But I get, honestly, like, this is the moment I feel like we've been kind of building up to, you know? Deep breath, you know? Yep. I'm going to enjoy every minute of this. We deserve it. I know. We deserve it. And I guess, like, it feels so surreal. Like, this whole morning, I've just, it's like I'm present, but also, like yeah. yeah. We always felt like we already were married, as we've always lived our lives like that. And especially, you know, we own a house, we have a baby, so you're like, oh, nothing's gonna change. This isn't gonna feel any different. But we've both said in the past week that it does, and we're surprised by how different it does feel in a good way. Like, we're so excited, we feel like, we sort of just feel like we've earned it, you know? Like, we've put in the work as a couple and as a family and as parents, and we're really ready to just, like, make that official and be able to call each other husband and wife. Moina, I'm so excited to finally be crossing into this next chapter of our lives together. Over the last several years, we've been through so many changes together from the art of racing in the rain to our very own Enzo. To visiting the Isle of Sky to naming our daughter after it. From telling our moms six and a half years ago that we felt no more, to announcing that to the world today. These places and things that I love so much, so much of what we've done and who I am all these changes that are part of my life are all thanks to you. I'm so grateful for you for making our lives so full. I'm so excited that after all these years together, we are finally about to become husband and wife. I love you, and I vow to love you every day of my life. When it comes to love, I never used to believe when people would say, when you know, you know. It seemed cliche that you can meet someone and instantly just know that you'd found your person. Every cell in my body just knew it was you. And since that first week we spent together, I've never once questioned it. It was you, it is you, and it will always be you.
You know how to make our day-to-day moments special, from cooking themed dinners at home to dancing with me in our front yard, under the stars. And just when I thought I couldn't love you anymore, I watched you become a father to our little girl. The greatest joy in my life has been witnessing the love that you and Layton share. There aren't enough words in the world to thank you completely for what you do for our little family and how much I love and appreciate you. Every day I wake up even more grateful for this beautiful life that we've built and will continue to build as husband and wife. Sean, I will spend the rest of my days loving you with all of my heart. I love you so, so much. Let's do this. Tim Lane and Sean, it has been an absolute honor and joy getting to see your story unfold and being witness to so much love and joy. So tonight, I hope that you can find some quiet moments with one another to look at each other and to look at all of your amazing loved ones gathered here together to celebrate you. And in those quiet moments, I hope you recognize that the story that you two are writing together is more beautiful than anything we could have ever dreamed of as our kids. Sean and Milena, your vows may have been spoken in minutes, but your promises to each other will last a lifetime. Having witnessed your vows for marriage, surrounded by your beautiful family and friends, and by the authority vested in me, I announce with great joy that you are officially husband and wife. You got the way? Sean, you may kiss your bride. This changes In four short years, they have just put together so much and accomplished so much. And I shouldn't be surprised because these two are remarkable young people. And they give me hope for the future.